Hi students, coming to the next topic that is the software maintenance model. So in the previous videos we discussed about the different maintenance activities and the maintenance process. Now let us see the software maintenance models. So actually there are five different models that are present in the soft for software maintenance. One is quick fix model, iterative enhancement model, full reuse model, Bohm's model and tortoise model. Now let us see the first one, quick fix model. So what is this quick fix model? So the name is saying that quick fix means whenever the problem is occurred, try to fix immediately. Uh, don't wait until you release the product. If any problem is occurred, try to fix it immediately. That is a quick fix model. So this is basically an ad hoc approach to maintaining software. So this is basically an ad hoc approach to maintaining software. It is a fire fighting approach. Waiting for the problem to occur and then trying to fix it as quickly as possible. So here the quick fix model is always waiting for the problem. Is there any problem is occurring or not? Suppose if there is problem is fired, then it trying to fix it. Trying to fix it as quickly as possible. So that's why we call it as a quick fix model. So changes are made at code level as early as possible without anticipating future problems. So try to uh, find out the problem at code level itself. Okay. So before going to the testing only, try to uh, find out the problem. Whatever the changes are made at code level as early as possible without anticipating future problems. So as a result, the structure of software degrade rapidly because here every time we are just checking at the code level and we are trying to solve it at then. So it always the result of the structure of software degrades rapidly because it is not going forward. Okay, whenever you are following the quick fix problem, it is uh, our structure is not moving forward. So if it is the small projects, it is okay. So when you are dealing with the large projects, it is difficult to follow this type of model means it difficult to maintain this type of model okay one only for the small or uh, small projects or small organization you can go for this uh, quick fix model okay now let us see uh, this is a quick fix model and uh, one more thing this is not suitable for large software system so whatever now i said now so whenever the problem is found try to fix it before uh, before proceeding that means after proceeding to the next step try to fix the problem again continue with the work suppose if again the problem is found try to fix it so here it is uh, continue the loops is continuing it is not going forward okay otherwise if the problem is not found okay it goes to the next step until the problem was not found the a loop is rotating like this only so that's why it is not suitable for the large software systems if it is a small software means we can easily identify the problems and the problems will also occur at rare conditions only for the small uh, software systems okay so uh, it is not mainly suitable for large software system and the next model is a iterative enhancement model iterative enhancement model is incorporate changes in the software based on the analysis of the existing system so here uh, the iterative enhancement model is completely based on the analysis of existing system okay now let us see what is that you have to assume the complete documentation of software is available in beginning only okay try to assume the complete documentation of software is available at the beginning only Attempts to control complexity and tries to maintain good design. So here the iterative means you have to try to attempt uh, find out the complete documentation of software that should be available at the beginning stage and attempts to control complexity and try to maintain good design. How it possible? First you analyze the existing system how to analyze an existing system just you take the assume the complete documentation of the software and uh, uh, at the beginning itself after that you have to characterize the proposed modification so let us see what are the modifications that are uh, coming uh, that has to be done on this existing system if you find out the modification and re redesign the current version and implementation the project okay 
first you have to take the existing system and characterize the proposed modification and try to redesign the current version whatever the current version is there that that has to be that existing system has to be redesigned again and try to implement the code okay this so this is the iterative one so the next models will continue in the next video